Hey cycling friends, James with Team Finish Strong out here on what has to be the absolutely most gorgeous Thanksgiving day I have ever experienced. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. Check this out. You've got the fall colors, warm temperatures is in the 70s. One simply couldn't ask for a more beautiful afternoon. And you know, as families open up their homes this Thanksgiving day to loved ones and friends, I have some thoughts to share also about opening up our homes to Christ. Now when it comes to making a suitable home for Christ, I'm not talking about running over and grabbing the vacuum cleaner and quickly cleaning things up, though there's a reflection in that too. The kind of home I'm talking about is the home of our heart. So when we invite Christ into our hearts through faith, He comes to live inside of us through the Holy Spirit. Paul talks about this in Galatians, and that, that He Himself no longer lives, but Christ lives within Him. And that's that exchange that takes place when we come to faith in Christ. And it's a wonderful exchange. Let me tell you, we get the better end of the deal when we no longer live and Christ comes to live with inside of us. Because through the Holy Spirit, we now have an advocate. We have a counselor. He encourages us. He comforts us. I talked about that in a prior video. And so there's so many benefits to allowing Christ to dwell in our hearts. And because of that, we want to make the home of our heart the most comfortable place for Christ to dwell. And you see, there are times when we can grieve the Spirit of Christ, when we can grieve the Holy Spirit. When we sin, for example, we drive away the presence of God. God cannot dwell in the presence of sin. And so when we fall into temptation and sin, we're driving that spirit away. That's why it's so important for the believer, if they've fallen into temptation and a sin, to turn back as quickly as possible. You know, uh, King David, when he fell into sin with Bathsheba, he cried out to God to not take the Holy Spirit from him. He could sense that separation that he experienced from God. And so we want to be careful not to give place to sin in our lives. If we do so, we're really, in a sense, kicking Jesus out. We're kicking him to the curb. Do we really want to do that to our Savior? Kick Christ to the curb and invite sin in? That's what we're doing when we live in a lifestyle of sin. You know, the Holy Spirit is the power of the believer's life. Without it, we can't do anything. Jesus says, apart from him, we can do nothing. That's where the role of the Holy Spirit comes in. Jesus himself said that the power of the Holy Spirit would come and we would be his witnesses in Acts 1.8. And so, without the power of the Spirit, we can't serve God. We can't live for Christ. We don't have the power to um, overcome temptation. And certainly the trials that come into our life are going to have significant sway over us if we don't trust God and walk by the Spirit. If we walk instead by the flesh, we're going to fall, follow after and desire the things of the flesh. And so I would just encourage you, my friends, today to give Christ the most comfortable home in your heart that you possibly can. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit in sin, but be filled instead with the Spirit. And see what God does in your life. And don't just make it a passive thing. Invite the Spirit of God to fill you each day. 
when you see believers in Scripture filled with the Holy Spirit, amazing things happen. And that could be your experience too, if you walk by the Spirit. And so, as we look up to God in thanks for everything He's done for us and how He's gotten us through 2020, let's remember to ask God for the filling of the Holy Spirit. That we can trust Him, and we can see His power at work in our lives. Friends, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Take care. God bless. And finish strong.